Welcome to the AACS Daily News. Four students recently graduated from the Salvation Army's Bridging the Gap Between Youth and Community Services program. The mission of Bridging the Gap is to help court involved and at-risk teenagers by providing them with the support and skills they need to keep their lives on track. To learn more, we spoke with facilitator Reverend Dan Duray. Bridging the Gap is a program designed to assist children who are having struggles at home, in school, um, <clears throat> being uncooperative, maybe even being a little aggressive in language towards parents or grandparents. The program lasts for 12 weeks, 24 sessions, where we discuss things as living care and conservation of a brain by not allowing them to think that drugs are the answer. We also deal with anger management, domestic abuse and dating. Um, we talk about life skills, um, jobs, trying to find ways to make it through high school with supports, with attendance, and correction of some attitudes that will bring better um, results for them than arguing all the time. This program runs under the Salvation Army. It was developed by a Salvation Army officer. Um, his purpose was to try to address issues of city kids struggling to make ends meet on their own. A lot of times they come with issues of depression, anxiety. Um, we're able to talk about those issues and give them some skills on how to change their mindset about the problems that they're having. Most of the kids that come to our program are referred um, through the uh, Attleboro Courthouse, also through high schools and DCF. Um, they have a range of students that would be wonderful for our program. They refer them and we keep them out of trouble two days a week for 12 straight weeks. At the same time, they learn these skills and that can produce more help down the road. Most of the kids come, they're quiet. They're not sure who to trust. It takes a while to build that up, maybe two or three classes. It's peer operated and run. They require the opportunity to talk with one another and express the concerns they've had, um, why they may struggle in school. They may all agree on why they struggle. Um, so we allow that opportunity for conversation and crosstalk. Today we have a graduation of four students. We hope to graduate 50 by, 50 by the end of this uh, year. Um, if you come and you attend the program and you're successful, um, what happens is if you have a court um, date that's already been set, that can be allayed for a while. And if you make it through our program and you stay clean for the next 15 months, then the court's willing um, to erase the offense that you got in trouble for to begin with. The program we run here in Attleboro, we've had roughly 300 kids come through in the last seven years. Of those 300, all 300 have maintained a good relationship with the Attleboro Police and the court, and they have not reoffended after coming to our program. I hope that people will take advantage of a program that's proven itself very effective, especially for teens with, with difficulties. People, to find out more information, are welcome to call the Salvation Army, 508-226-8624, um, or you can write me an uh, email, daniel.dore, D-O-R-E, at usc.salvationarmy.org. That's it for today's update. You can watch all of our content by visiting our website at doubleecs.com, by downloading the WECS mobile app, or if you have a Roku, you can search for the WECS Roku channel. For WECS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.